mental health plays a very big role in the way we are, the way we need to be, the situations that have affected us and are still affecting us, affecting our children, affecting us in our jobs, affecting us in every way, you know? And um, I just wanna pose and throw a few questions at us that can give food for thought. And I'm doing it this way because I know there's a lot of opinions out there, a lot of research, a lot of support being provided, a lot of people opening up. But this is my take. These are my questions. And I just want to leave you with that as we think about the impact of mental health on our communities. It's about our well-being. The first question I want to ask is, can it be that we are impacted with our health mentally because people are being pushed, children are being pushed to do, to be the best they can be regardless of what they want for themselves? That's a question. What do you think? They've been pushed in that particular direction all their lives that it hasn't even given room for a plan B. And at the end of it all, they feel suicidal. They feel depressed. They've got the success all right. They've achieved all right. They become the doctor, the lawyer, the athlete. They've been that. But at what cost? That's a question. Can it be that mental health plays a big role in the sense that they feel that they owe the world? They want to please the world. They want the world to see them as that, 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 that movie star, that successful football star, that successful musician. They want to, they owe, they feel, they feel they owe the world. Parents feel they owe their children. Children feel they owe their parents. When you feel that, I owe it to you, I owe it to you, and then you forget about moi, you forget about yourself. What does that, where does that leave you? Food for thought, a question to ask. The media, what role does the media play? We've heard so much from the royal family, you know, about what's been happening to them over the years and what is still happening to people. You heard about one of the athletes that said that she doesn't want to talk to me. It impacts on her. What role does the media play in our mental health? These are food for thoughts because we're on the media, we're on social media. And it's like, do I care what they think? Do I care what they say? Or do I just want to be me? Must I toe the line? Must I be everything you want me to be? Because I need to please you? That's a question and a food for thought. Can it be that looking at the definition of success impacts on our mental health. What is success to you? What is success to me? If success to me is me that I just want to be happy and enjoy what I do, regardless of whether I have the trappings of the materialistic things at, at all, does that really matter? What success to you? I think the world's definition of success is also important to think about as well. That's a question for you. Can it be that for so many of us, and this is quite important, for so many of us, we are people that are busy making a living than living a life. And that impacts on our mental health. It brings about depression, unhappiness, sadness. We're busy, we're hustling. We're thinking about how do I make ends meet? Even if you do, you have all, you have it all. You still want to do more. So are you busy making a living than living a life? That's a food for thought. And finally, can we, should we be confident enough to say, my good enough, is good enough. I'm working on myself, friends. When will I be confident? When will you be confident to say your good enough 
is good enough. My good enough is good enough. See you next time on me. God bless. <laughs>